We think about travel, many of us are getting ready to spend time, quality time, with our families, but let's be honest. There are no perfect families. No, and sometimes there'll be that one difficult family member who will cause us to dread that dinner table conversation. CBS 46 reporter Brittany Edney walks us through different perspectives on dysfunctional families. All right, guys, so we wanted to get two very different perspectives from two experts in their own fields on how to handle the holiday with those, well, just challenging family members. A loving Thanksgiving dinner. Yeah, yeah, that's the hope, but how realistic. Hey, Nancy, thanks for having us. Nancy, the psychologist, meet Darnell, the comedian. So how do you feel about the holidays? I love the holidays. I like spending time with my family, at least, at least for the first 15 minutes, and then family's just family at that point. I come up with some activity that spreads the attention around instead of having long conversations at the table. You might play a table game or something, but you don't want that person to dominate the conversation or it won't be a happy memory. Here's how I deal with negative, Nancy. I don't even know why you're at my house in the first place. I'm going to give you the wrong address. I'm going to tell you we're going over to Aunt Doris's crib. We're not there. I would hope that the couple first would have some ground rules that they set about the upcoming event so that if the in-laws do start getting too personal or too political or whatever is going to upset you, that, the, that their own child, their adult child, can kind of steer the conversation in another way so all that um, pressure isn't on the daughter-in-law or the son-in-law. Alcohol. That's how you deal with overbearing in-laws. First of all, I don't know why I'm a part of this contract because I didn't sign up for this. They did, but whatever. You just drink some more tequila. You'll be fine. There's always that one that wants to go there. Politics. I think anything right now that's pretty divisive is something to steer away from during the holidays. Unless you can have a healthy debate about it, usually it gets too personal and too much passion in everybody's view. And I would personally think you'd make a rule not to talk about Trump or anyone else right now in politics. Uh-oh, that's a no-no. Donald Trump, wait, wait a minute. Donald Trump in my house? Oh, you, you must not want to play. That's what we talk about here. You came to Thanksgiving to get no meal. You can't bring up Donald Trump or politics. Let's just play it safe. You really. want to catch up with people. You want to make new memories that you're going to have. You don't know how long each of those family members is going to be able to be there with you. So even if you have a, a mess up, it's not a Martha Stewart or a Magnolia holiday, it's still going to be your family's memory that you make. What do I say when people got to get out? I'm going to tell you right now. Look, look, I'm going to show you personally. Here, take all of it. And worst comes to worst, you can always pop in a movie, get some popcorn, try to kind of steer the conversation away. That was fun. I like it. You know, in comedy, I think always sort of is a great, it's a great tension releaser. If you, if you have a sense of humor. <laughs> yeah, and I think that was the great thing about Darnell in there was, uh, you know, he, he takes a lighthearted approach to those difficult family members that you don't always want to deal with and see on that one time of the year. That was a creative approach to advising all of us how to get through the holidays. Yeah. And you know what? At the end, just bring some desserts, everyone's favorite, and mm -hmm. kind of just butter them up a little bit, and then you can't go wrong, right? That's right. If they but go low, you, you take it high. I definitely know which one I'd want to have Thanksgiving dinner with. Oh, which what? one? Oh, are we going to call him out? Are you no, gonna I'm not going to say. <laughs> I'm not going to say, but I definitely know where I want to be. But with us for Thanksgiving. Of course. Uh, oh, that family. almost calls for a group hug, but I'm not going to do it because... Don't touch me, you're sick. <laughs> I'm sick, all right. <laughs>